had to pop to the north of France for some work. And I'm very excited because the Petherics have asked me to go and spend the night at their chateau, the Chateau de la Basmanier. So I'll get the opportunity to hang out with them again, which is always great fun. Here we are. Wow. It doesn't matter that I live in a chateau. Every time I see one, I get the same thrill. It is such an addiction. Could you give us a little tour? Yes, um, well, this is the dining room. And there is Lucy. And there is the biggest chandelier in the world. It's stunning, the ceiling is incredible. And there's the a bronze fireplace. plaque above the fireplace, yeah. And it's, um, there's one um, by the same maker in the Louvre wow. and one in Versailles. So it's quite valuable. And there you've got the fleur de lis in the, um, in the cast iron here. And in the mosaic. And the mosaic. The mosaic's really nice actually. Mm. It's, it's, um, it's really well done. Oh, I love this room. Yeah, this is the library um, slash drawing room. And it's, um, it was Gwen's office for quite a while, but we, um, Gwen's decided to move our office upstairs. Mm -hmm. You made these curtains. I did, I made these curtains. Um, that was my second attempt at making curtains. Oh, they come out all right, actually. Michael is a man of many talents. Okay, so the next room is the entrance hall. The grand staircase, all carved from oak. Oh, best staircase. And cat included. So it needs to be painting. And then Billy and Gwendolyn chose this really traditional Victorian colour. And is it true that you do all your painting with a brush instead of a roller? Yes, I never use rollers. I can't believe it. Look at the size of the space. Because rollers leave a sort of a lumpy texture, I find. And you can tell that it's been done with a roller. And whereas brushes, they leave a more of a smoother finish. And I like seeing a few brush strokes. It's, it's, I like to kind of think it's, that's how they would have painted it, you know, in the past. Where have they gone? Oh yeah, there was a whole family in here a moment ago. Yeah, this is the, I suppose, the sitting room. It's still got its original tapestry above the fireplace. And I like the bishop's throne. Oh yeah, bishop's throne. This is my favourite room. This is the ballroom. It's nice to have a big brown space. Yeah. Wow, look at this. Never seen an inset like that. It's, it's, um, it's still in really good condition. That's stunning. Because if it wasn't here, well, that would have gone black by now. And actually, there's, a, there's something about this fireplace which is uh, you wouldn't know unless somebody pointed it out. And uh, this is all obviously white marble. Yeah. But this part is oh. wood. It's wood. Whoa! So obviously, at some point, it's either been smashed or it's missing. Um, and somebody's had to replace this piece with, with wood and, and carved it and, and done a really good job because it's from a distance you would never know. Oh, well, let's go look at the carriage. Oh, yeah. That is in another building. Oh, there's a cat. In the carriage house. <laughs> right, so this is the guest house. In here is the garage. There should be an old horse drawn carriage. If no one's driven off in it. Nice. <laughs> Still here. That is spectacular. Actually, in here somewhere is the real Vera Wang wedding dress. <laughs> so, I probably see you actually. Of course, you need a <laughs> <Should> get married. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, let's go to the chapel. Oh, in the, the carriage. We've got yeah. The chapel, we've got the carriage. Awesome, it's all ready. <laughs> and you got the wedding dress. We've got the wedding dress. It's Suit on. Michael, can I just say this is the most organised proposal I've ever received. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we're ready to go right now. Let's just do it. I want to get into the carriage. Well, you can get into the carriage if you want. Let's see if I can. Where to, milady? <laughs> <laughs> hmm, let's see, Leland. How long do you reckon that would take? Uh, about a week. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've got the horse as well. I forgot. Oh, we've got three. Yeah. Okay, we'll saddle it up. We're on our <laughs> way. Going to La London style. Okay. <laughs> Tally ho. <laughs> uh, oh my god, I'm staying in here forever. Oh no. <laughs> 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 
just it's quite it. a small space. Oh, no, there you go. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> Crisis averted. And then there's also a, a, an old Jaguar in XJS just lying around in here. That is clearly the girlfriend of my Jaguar. <laughs> <laughs> All their lives they've been waiting to meet. <laughs> Oh, this is in so much better condition than mine. Look at the shiny wheels. Total lack of peacock poo. Amazing. That's what a car is supposed to look like. Marie contacted me telling me that our B&B guest tonight wanted dinner, so she has created a dinner by herself, which sounds completely amazing. She is apparently making a salad of orgasmic figs, followed by a fish stew with vegetables from the garden, and then French toast with confused plums. I was obviously feeling extremely jealous about the orgasmic figs and the confused plums until I saw the food here tonight. <laughs> and we roast beef with creamed leeks, carrots and greens, all from the garden. Wow. Obviously not the beef. <laughs> One must do salt from the... Highest height. If you salt from a height, it spreads evenly across. If you go oh my like god, there's that, actually a reason for it. Yeah, yeah. If wow. you go like that, then it stays in one spot. If you go from a height, it spreads. I've learned something. That's Jamie. Yeah, because you trained with Jamie. Yeah. <laughs> and voila. All done. Perfect. Well, I need, I need the to get, I need to get, <laughs> I need to get my apron off. The only thing we're missing is the gramophone right now. Oh, well, that's a it's a beautiful syrupy sight. Good morning, Michael. Good morning, Stephanie. It's very early. It's too early. Um, but I've made you some tea. Oh, I can't believe so, you did this. So you can enjoy your morning before your long That's drive. That's so beautiful. Okay, this is actually worth getting up for. And that view is worth getting up for. Take my car away from his girlfriend. Yeah. We've decided that your car is his girlfriend. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. They are the same colour and they're, yeah, they're very well matched. Aren't that yeah. one's only a couple of years older. Thank you for letting me stay. You're it's welcome. been amazing. You're very welcome. And you're, you should come back soon. And don't drive too fast. Yeah. In mummy's words. <laughs> <laughs> Have fun at the antique yeah. shops. We will do. Drive Lucky safe. things. Bye. <laughs> See you later. Andreas just sent me a text saying, the problem with Stephanie having a life of her own and taking the Jaguar is that the peacocks now have to sit on the guest's car. Don't worry peacocks, I'm on my way back with your favourite car. I have been back for five minutes and the peacock has resumed her natural place. Sorry, peahen. Oh, both peahens. Ladies, I have to go and collect Mummy and Percy and Jerry and I'm going to need this car, please. Sorry to disturb. Thank you. So the little darlings have all arrived and they're already giving me stick. Stephanie, good parking. Where were you chased here? Look. Not many people can park a car sideways in a parking spot. That is not, not many sideways. Not Stephanie. That is not sideways, Percy. Stephanie. It's a jaunty angle. Look at it. I am looking at it, Mummy. It's magnificent parking. I think you should all be jolly grateful that I've come to collect you at all because I'm in a, in a mind to leave you all at the airport. Who's going to win the Around the Fountain tractor race? Jerry's got Marie on the back, which is obviously two people rather than one, but I think it's a more powerful tractor. And we've got Mummy on the mower and Percy on the other mower. Presumably off to Paris now. 